Hey everybody, Rob Nelson here. Now, if you live on the East Coast of the United States or you live anywhere where you have ash trees, then you need to know what to do if and when the emerald ash borer invades your area and starts killing your ash trees. All these are ash trees all throughout. Right, you can see a lot of <laughs> One over there, it looks like, maybe. Now, ash trees are a very common tree all throughout the eastern deciduous forest, so it's something that you probably have on your property if you live in that area. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, though, the first thing that you should do is check out the emerald ash borer video that I just made, links up here or down in the description, and that will walk you through what is coming, because there is a really bad bug that is from Asia that has been introduced to the United States and is causing the largest tree death event in the history of this continent. Now, there are things that you can do before this bug gets there if you treat your tree. In particular, I'm talking about insecticides that they make it so the larvae is not gonna bore under the tree and kill it. Now, I'm not gonna tell you about it though. I found the expert and the experts here at Bartlett is gonna fill you in. So one of the tools that we have to combat this pest is injections with products that kill the emerald ash borer. One of the methods or application procedures for a few of the products is tree injection. So with injection, we are drilling into the tree and applying the product under pressure directly into the water conducting cells of the tree where the product can then move throughout the canopy and disperse evenly uh, in the tree, protecting the wood from invasion and life cycle completion of the emerald ash borer. While doing that, we are wounding the tree. We are drilling into the tissue and damaging it. But one of the things that is a good comparison that we can relate to is uh, with cancer treatments. So we do things like chemotherapy or radiation that we know damages us, but it weighs out the damage that the cancer cells would do to us and eventually cause death. Um, similar with trees, we are damaging by put, drilling into the wood and putting uh, the injection plug into the tree, but Inevitably, we're going to be protecting it from this insect that will inevitably kill the tree. So uh, in a way, we only use this device, this application procedure for things that will cause mortality. Uh, okay, so this bag that you got down here, we let's see crouch down here. Um, th this is all you would bring, or this is all somebody would bring out to a tree to apply treatment sure. in this particular method. Yeah, this is essentially it. Um, we have here, uh, compressed air and this compressed air is hooked up to our injection device which is also connected to our tank which is under uh, compressed air currently and so what happens is um, you turn this thing on the, the product would come into, uh, into this chamber here and you would calibrate it to know exactly the amount of product that would be going out into one push and then under compressed air it gets plugged into the tree, into our injection site. And so you'd have to do some calculations and uh, based on the labeled rate, the volume of product that needs to go into the tree uh, for this particular injection. So just as a normal homeowner, they realize they have an ash tree in their yard. Is, I mean, they, they're gonna have to call an arborist, right? They can't do that themselves. That's right. Yeah. Uh, you know, the products that we are using for emerald ash borer prevention are products that are restricted use, which means you have to have a pesticide applicator license that you have to keep getting renewed through continuing ed credits. And so professional arborists who are certified as an arborist as well as a uh, pesticide applicator have had the proper training for safe procedures as well as efficient procedures of doing it to where the tree would be, damage to the tree would be minimized um, for this procedure. Okay. now. Say, like myself, I've got, I think I've got five ash trees are in my yard. I know I need to treat them or cut them down. How much does something like this cost, approximately? Is there a, a large range or is it pretty standard? Even within our company, I think it varies um, based on the, uh, the procedure. I mean, are we talking tens of dollars or hundreds of dollars? Hundreds of dollars is what we're talking. Yeah. Probably in the ballpark of between 100 and 200 dollars, I would say, to treat a tree, and it would depend on the size of the tree. Um, it would also depend on the time um, that it would take. So, depending on the season that you're doing it, uh, and that sort of thing. And, and, and is there a season to treat it, and a season not to treat it? Well, once 
emerald ash borer pressure is in your area, you should start to think about this prevention management. Um, for the reason that emerald ash borer is here to stay and all of our native ash trees are susceptible to this beetle. Um, so I think the, the timing of treating them, you can do it uh, practically any time of year, but you're gonna have better uh, efficacy with the product moving into the wood faster during uh, you know, the spring when it, the tree is leafing out. But you can do it any time of the year, but you know, I think there are some more ideal, preferable times to do this. Like spring. Like spring. What are some other just general ways that you might be able to apply insecticide? Yeah, so with this method, um, you know, you would want to do uh, the number of injection sites needs to be uh, the DBH, the diameter at breast height measured of the tree, uh, divided by two. Um, so you would want to have an injection site for every uh, two inches of DBH, diameter at breast height inches. Um, so the other forms of applications well, uh, would be there's products out there that you can drench, which means you make a solution and then you essentially pour it slowly around the root zone close to the trunk. And then the tree will use its roots, which absorb water and move things to the tree naturally to move that product through the tree uh, and into the wood. Um, and then there are other, other injection uh, devices that have plugs where you would put a plug into the tree and a needle tip goes into the plug and then comes out of this tip. Whereas this one doesn't have a plug um, and the plugs are little plastic devices. This area right here is where this needle goes and it goes through a little filter patch. It plugs in and then it's in there and then the product gets fills into this little space and then it's taken up by the tree. So you just kind of have to figure out what is the best option for your scenario. Right. I'm here at, at Bartlett Tree Farms. Fill us in on what that is. Bartlett Tree Research Laboratories is um, the research facility for the Bartlett Tree Expert Company. So we're an international tree maintenance company. Uh, we take care of mostly residential and commercial trees, um, doing everything from pruning to fertilization um, to pest management uh, for tree health issues like this. Um, and so we are the research wing. So we're trying to figure out what are the best practices for tree maintenance. So we figure that out here and then we train our employees in the field um, on how to do it best. Um, and it's a way to conserve plant genetics as well as understand what varieties are best for landscape use. So we can go out and look at our collections and see which ones perform well here in North Carolina and maybe try them out elsewhere in the, in the country and in Canada. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, thanks you, Andrew. Yeah, Appreciate no problem. It. So, <laughs> Andrew actually got his PhD in Florida, which is where I'm doing the Emerald Ash Borer video, uh, but he's here in Charlotte. It's like kind of the leading front of where EAB is right at the moment. Actually, it's now further south. Anyways, check out our video on the Emerald Ash Borer. We'll put links down in the description or right up there if you want to click on that. And also more about Bartlett and what they're doing down in the description. Thanks for watching everybody. This is just a special add-on video to the larger project that we made right here. If you haven't seen that already, make sure to check it out.